If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 50 of the Borussia Dortmund career mode here on Xbox One. This is actually going to be the 50th and final episode of the entire series. It's a season 2 roundup as you can tell by the title. I've actually got another mini series coming uh, over the next few days in the next, you know, 10 over the next 10 days or so because of course the full release isn't quite here yet, but it seems pointless to get like two months into a new season to just then stop. So I've got something that uh, you might enjoy. It's FIFA 15 career mode based, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. That will, of course, start tomorrow. But for now, we'll do our usual end of season roundup. We'll have a look at the uh, the Bundesliga and the other major leagues around Europe. Have a quick look at uh, top goal scorers and assists, etc. For uh, for all of the competitions we are involved in. And then, of course, we'll uh, we'll end with a squad report so you, can go, so you guys can see who is improving and by how much. Because I know you guys do love a cheeky squad report to see who's growing very well indeed. So we'll have a look at that a little bit later. But we'll start off with the Bundesliga table, of course. Unfortunately, we weren't able to, uh, to win the Bundesliga title for back-to-back -back seasons on Monday. We are Unfortunately, dropped too many points and uh, we found ourselves finishing second. But still, second behind Bayern is a decent finish and I am quite happy with that. Unfortunately, Freiburg, Kaiserslautern and FC Augsburg will be leaving the division. Werder Bremen just about stay up. But uh, in the Deutsche Pokal, actually had Mainz win the National Cup. Quite a turn up for the books, that one. Unsurprising, or not unsurprising, it was surprising to see uh, to see them not only in the final, but then beating Schalke in the final as well. Freiburg managed to stay up thanks to uh, thanks to winning the... Uh, you know, they have a, a playoff final between uh, the... I think it's the third team in uh, in the... the not Segunda Liga, that's Spain. Like the Zwei Bundesliga, the second division in Germany. And uh, clearly, as you can see, Freiburg beat Eintracht. Brownsweig, I think that is, to uh, to stay up 3-0, so they actually won't get relegated. Of course, yesterday, not yesterday, this is the Copa Europe, we unfortunately lost the uh, the European Super Cup. We won the Europa League in the first season, which meant we played in the uh, European Super Cup against Real Madrid. Unfortunately, we lost that. That was the first game of this entire season. But yesterday, we were able to win the Champions League on penalties against FC Barcelona. If you missed that episode, and uh, there'll be a link to it in the bottom left-hand side of your screen, it was a particularly enjoyable game to play although very very closely fought went all the way to pens and as you can see we were able to win it if you did see that video then thank you for watching it if you didn't then definitely check it out it's uh, it's up on the channel page went up yesterday afternoon and i think the the rest on oh, no, a europa league ac all an all milan final in the europa league although ac come out one nil winners against Inter and of course tomorrow night we'll have the Europa League final in my player against AC Milan so clearly the Milan side do like to get to uh, the final stages of the European competition not necessarily like they used to getting to the final of the Champions League they'll have to or they are having to settle for uh, for the the Europa League but hopefully we can actually beat them in the Europa League in my player tomorrow of course there was a my player episode uploaded last night as well so definitely check that out if you missed it but anyway as you can see Marco Royce unfortunately didn't quite win the golden boot Stefan Kiesling from Bayer Leverkusen beat him by a single goal and there then as you can see Schweinsteiger with 16 goals a fantastic return for a, for a central holding midfielder Rafael coming in fourth and Luis Suarez Coming in fifth with 15 goals. Uh, Assist-wise, Alessio Cerci and Sheridan Shakiri both up there near the top, but Luis Suarez comes top with 12 assists. So uh, he's done well, actually, Suarez. Had a good season. 15 goals and 12 assists is not to be sneered at. Let's have a quick look at, uh, at if it will change, at the uh, the Champions League, if we can. Uh, there's the copy Europe. Of course, we didn't, or we did score in that, but it uh, wasn't anything to fancy there we go Lesio Church who was our top goal scorer in Europe as you can see five goals in the Champions League Royce gets the most assists eight really fantastic season for Marco Royce then and uh, speaking of Marco Royce we'll have a look and see how he's grown so actually let's have a quick look at the other leagues around Europe so I do want to see who won the the BPL and La Liga etc so we'll have a quick look like we always tend to do Colombia Denmark England next there we go Manchester United win the Barclays Premier League for 2014-2015 Interesting. Is that going to happen this year in real life? We'll have to wait and see. I don't think so. Uh, Man City coming second, Arsenal third, and Chelsea fourth. A long way off the pace. 
hopefully that isn't what's going to happen this year. And judging by the way Chelsea have actually started the season, uh, it doesn't look like that is going to happen. QPR, Fulham and Watford, unfortunately, leaving the uh, the competition. Watford only picking up one win all season long. Uh, Aston Villa and Crystal Palace getting promoted automatically. And uh, West Brom, Reading, Leicester and Bolton will fight out in the playoffs. Really tight at the top of the table, apart from Aston Villa. Uh, but uh, Palace, West Brom and Reading all separated by a singular point. Really close for that final uh, final promotion, automatic promotion spot, should I say. And uh, Crystal Palace were the ones to nick it. Lyon win, uh, Lyon win League One. That's the first time they've done that for quite a while. PSG finishing only third. Of course, we've seen Bayern. Juve, unsurprisingly, by quite a margin, in fact, win Serie A. And we'll have a quick look at La Liga as well, as Ajax win in the Netherlands. Portugal's won by Sporting. Uh, Zenit, unsurprisingly, win in Russia. Scotland, Celtic finished 27 points clear at the top of the table. Again, no shock there. And Real Madrid win the league for ahead of uh, fellow Madrid side Atleti by a singular point. And Barcelona finished fourth behind Valencia. Fourth in their domestic league and lose the Champions League final to me. Not the best of seasons for Barcelona then. But have a look at the squad report to round things out. Of course, as always with the squad report, if there's any player you want to have a look at in more particular detail, then uh, feel free to pause the video at any point. But uh, we'll go through, have a quick look at uh, all of the squad to see who has uh, progressed and uh, who's growing quite nicely. We'll start here, as you can see, with Roman Weidenfeller. Actually still rated 85 after uh, now being 34 years of age. Really pleased with Weidenfeller actually. He's kept his stats tremendously well. Lucas Piszczek has now dropped to an 82 overall. Which is quite disappointing. That won't be happening on FIFA 15 of course. Players when they hit 30 won't start to have their stats drop dramatically like as you can see Piszczek's have here. So that's pleasing. That's an improvement to career mode. One of the finite number of improvements they actually have made to career mode for the upcoming year. Socrates goes up one despite not progressing at all on an individual stat basis. Uh, one goal and one assist for him. Pleased with uh, that progress. Mats Hummels despite playing 30 goals, uh, 30 games rather this year. Only no, only one plus one on his aggression, and that's it. It's quite disappointing. Marcel Smeltz, though, is going quite nicely. Up to 82 at left-back. Aaron Ramsey came in in the, uh, in the January transfer window, I think. £23 million we played for him. 21 games played. Uh, only the three goals and two assists, but all three of his goals were actually pretty good and pretty important as well. No improvements for him, though. Paul Pogba is up one to 85, so that's pleasing. And he's still only 22, so there is no limit to how good Paul Pogba can get in career mode. Sheridan Shakiri plus one as well, which is nice. Uh, 97 acceleration, pretty impressive there. Nine goals and 12 assists for him. Really good season for Sheridan Shakiri. Hyung Min Sun, an extremely important Champions League goal for us in uh, in that semi-final second leg against Manchester United, picking up the 90th minute winner to send us through to the final. And uh, really impressed with the way he's progressed as well. 82 rated overall now. That is very good. 11 goals in eight games for him. Marco Royce not improving overall and not really improving much on an individual stat basis either despite scoring 21 goals in 32 games and getting 10 assists. Not really too sure why he hasn't progressed as much as uh, perhaps he should have done. I would have thought Royce would have been 88-89 by now, especially putting in stats like that. That's quite disappointing, actually. Alessio Cerci up one. He had a good season as well. 14 goals and 12 assists in 35 games. Although he, as well, isn't growing that much, although he is 27. Milos Juic up three to 79. He actually could be quite a, a tasty player in career mode for, uh, for FIFA 15. As you can see, he's improving by large chunks, especially in the uh, the technical stats. Uh, Eric Derm up one as well. Pleased to see him growing. One of the, uh, the up-and-coming uh, young German defenders. Raheem Sterling is up to 85 overall now. Uh, scored 9 goals and 3 assists in his 27 games. And as you can see, improving across the board mentally, physically and technically as well. So uh, pleased with that. Really, really good player, Raheem Sterling. Raheem the Dream and uh, Kevin Kroskowitz is up too as well. Only improving though on the technical side of things. Uh, who else we've got? Daniel Sturridge. Uh, not sure how many goals he scored. Only the four in 12 games. I would have expected more for almost £30 million. He was the guy that you chose to come into the club. But unfortunately, we weren't quite able to utilise him as best we perhaps could have done. But a decent player nonetheless. Neven Subotic is up 
Uh, plus one to 85. Nuri Shaheen scored a very important goal in the Champions League final, although didn't feature too heavily in all competitions. So there's still 25 games, although the majority of those were uh, were substitute appearances. You can see Adam Wisdom is a youngster we picked up, uh, not really progressing much at all. Neither is Matt Butland. I wanted to get them both out on loan, and I couldn't get a loan deal for them. Matthias Ginter has progressed really nice as well, despite not playing many games. As you can see, 13. He is now up to 80 overall, and has transferred to Dortmund in real life as well so it'll be interesting to see what happens with him over uh, over the course of FIFA 15. Memphis Depay seems to, have, seems to have had his growth glitched for me. Uh, I've seen players get him well over the 80 mark or other guys get him well over the 80 mark. For me, no growth whatsoever so uh, quite annoyed at that actually. Phil Jones up two, not really played too much, 16 games as you can see only the one assist but he is a, a versatile utility player playing at centre back, right back, left back, centre mid so uh, you know he does play all round so it's perhaps kind of hard for him to uh, to pick up the sort of actual appearance stats than uh, someone would have in a you know consistent position. Burnt Leno, no improvements for him. Only played 17 games. He's actually asked me for a transfer away, but of course uh, we're not continuing the series, so he won't be leaving the club. Um, uh, Toprak has gone up well as well. Only played 14 games. We paid. I can't remember how much we paid for him, but it was a decent chunk with uh, with a player going the other way as well. But pleased with that actually. He's growing quite nicely. 83 rated now, up two, uh, and then we've just got some. Lone players here at the end that uh, aren't really overly impressive. And that's actually going to bring it to an end. I thought the squad was bigger than that. We got through that quicker than I thought. But that's going to bring this one to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for showing the support throughout the entirety of this 50-episode series. Really appreciate it. I'm going to be recording some demo content to come up over the next few days. That will come in the Ultimate Team slash Other slot in the schedule that you'll see in the description and on the About tab of the channel page. Tonight, of course, we'll actually have some demo content. The first episode of that, or the first video of that kind of sort of series uh, will be coming to you at 8pm tonight. Then uh, the new career mode series will start tomorrow. It's uh, it's not a career mode series as in a manager mode series. It's more uh, having a look at some potential stars, potential wonder kids type thing for FIFA 15 career mode. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, tomorrow we're looking at Raheem Sterling and Memphis Depay, of course, two players that we've had here at Dortmund throughout this series. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. And uh, that's coming to you tomorrow and for the foreseeable future in that 1pm slot during the weekdays. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the uh, FIFA 15 content that's going to be coming to you over the next few weeks and months. And uh, that's going to wrap up today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you with a demo tonight.